Hey girls, my name is Rini Swan, and I'm the girl behind Scuba Dive Trip. And I'm also a Patty, the scuba instructor. Um, being able to dive, to travel, and inspire got me where I am today. So here's my story. Scuba Dive Trip provides one click of a button kind and explore the dive holiday or course holiday trips to destination in Southeast Asia. We take care of all the bookings, make sure that all the logistics are well planned. The travelers can just pack their bag and depart. One leader will be assigned to each group of travelers, and this leader will also be their dive instructor or dive master and their photographer. So one unique selling point of scuba dive trip is that we take underwater pictures for the divers, and we make travel vlog for them too. I had two dreams that I wanted to pursue growing up. Um, one is to become a fashion designer, Another one is to live on a tropical island by the ocean. After working two years in the fashion industry, I couldn't help but leaning towards pursuing my dream island lifestyle. So when I was young, I lived very near the ocean, and uh, I have a, I have this deep connection with it, and I'm always attracted to it. So after the first time I tried scuba diving, I fell in love with it, and it felt like going home. So. I have to start somewhere to pursue my island dream. At the time, I was an advanced open water diver with about 30 plus log dives. I spent about 9 months uh, getting all the ratings that I need. And uh, being at 24, I was I don't have much saving and I don't have a full-time job, which allowed me to dive a lot. It was the poorest 9 months of my life. Mm, but I work as a freelance product photographer to make a tiny income so I can save up for all the courses I need to take. So eventually, after 9 months, I got to instructor rating and I was offered a job in a dive center to teach in Malaysia. But I was thinking, well since I can <clears throat> teach now, I can make a little bit of money and uh, I want to travel, why should I be constrained to only one dive center? Why can't I take people everywhere around Southeast Asia and teach them scuba diving over there and uh, travel with them like a group of friends? So I called up a group of friends and uh, organized the trip. After this trip, they went home with a lot of good memories and a lot of great, great pictures. They just started to spread the word. And that is how I started. Slowly, there are more people coming, and then I've started an account on the social media, sharing my experiences, my uh, knowledge in diving, and uh, what are fun stuff to do on a trip. I do my best to keep my pricing similar to what dive centers offer. So I negotiate my way into making this happen, and uh, knowing what everyone wants. Dive centers wants customers. I can attract customers. I bring the customers to the dive center and voila, that is how it's done. I see myself as a mobile dive center. So on my social media platforms, I share a lot of my personal experiences. It attracts the attention of a lot of girls. So 85% of all my divers are girls. So having support from all these girls encouraged me to keep on going and being able to inspire more people. I enjoy teaching very much because it gives me the opportunity to show people the underwater world and how amazing it is to let them know what is happening in our environment and how our daily convenience in life is actually damaging it. After a trip or a course, I got inspired by what I do and had a tiny change to their lifestyle and the decisions that they make. It's a small step. I might not be changing the world, but knowing that I can inspire a few people at a time made me really happy. I pay for their accommodation, their food, and their plane tickets, and I give them allowance for uh, taking people out. If they are instructor and teaching courses, I pay them $100 for each student, and usually we travel in a group of four, four students, so they make $400 over uh, Four days, we cannot travel anymore. The whole industry is facing the same issue. Um, what we do here in Singapore is that I think this is a good opportunity to start brushing up your diving skills, taking up courses that can 
let you become a better diver. So uh, during this period of time, this is what we focused on and we started to map out new dive sites in Singapore. Um, I think we are lucky enough to dive in Singapore. Even though the, the, the underwater environment is not ideal, so it's time to explore your own country where you maybe have never ever dove. When I first got into this business, nothing was planned. I didn't even know that it would venture into a business. I had this island dream that I want to live on a tropical island. I gave myself the opportunity, the chance to, to do it. And along the way, I saw opportunities and uh, see what I can do to make it happen. And just, there are hard times. You have to work hard. This is inevitably the only way to really make something work. But if you have the passion, you love it enough, you know what you get to offer. As long as you put in the effort, I think you can do it. So let's answer some questions that came from the girls. Because we're based in Singapore, so uh, it's easy to travel around Southeast Asia. So most of my dive destinations are in Southeast Asia. My answer to you is become a dive instructor and start teaching. In this way, you can teach more people to become better divers. Yes, I did have another business before this one. Uh, it was a textile boutique. I supplied textiles to fashion designers in Singapore. At the time, I was very young, did not have a lot of information or knowledge on how to scale a business. After a year of running it, I asked myself, is this something that you want to do and want to do it for maybe five years? The answer was no. So I've stopped it after a year. So sometimes, you know, if you know this is not going to work, don't know when to stop. So I hope what I share with you today can help you with what you're facing, uh, decisions that you're making, and uh, to understand this industry a little bit better. And if you have something in mind, just, you know, if it is about time, go for it.